If you've ever been to a bakery or a pizza parlor and you've seen those long spatulas that they use to slide the pizza and the bread in and out of the oven, well that's called a peel and today we're going to make one. Now commercial peels are often made with really long handles so they can reach deep into a hot oven and for that reason they're often made out of lightweight wood like basswood or maybe even aluminum. Well we're going to make one for the home and so we can make it a little bit shorter and we can also use prettier wood. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is glue up a blank. Now it doesn't need to be too thick, in fact a peel should be kind of skinny so we're starting with half inch thick lumber. You can see that I'm using walnut and maple here and uh, I've clamped it up, the glue is cured. I'm going to scrape the glue off, take it out of the rest of the clamps, go over to the drum sander to smooth it out. Make a few passes over each side of the panel in the drum sander. Lower the drum no more than 1 64th of an inch with each pass. To make this project a little easier, we provided a free downloadable PDF which prints out in four pages and then you tape it together and then cut it out and it forms this exact pizza peel shape. You can of course create your own shape if you choose. Next thing I'm going to do now is trace out the shape of the pizza peel onto the blank. Then I'm going over to the bandsaw and we'll cut it out. On the bandsaw, cut just outside of the pattern lines and then sand up to the line to achieve the final shape. Now I'm laminating a piece of maple onto the handle. It's going to look better and it's also going to feel better when we use it because after I get it clamped in place I'm going to refine the shape with a draw knife, files, sandpaper, whatever it takes. Now you want the pizza peel to sit flat when you have your pizza on it so you can use it as a cutting board. But it's also important that the front edge have a taper to it so you can slide it underneath the pizza when it's in the oven. Now you could put that beveled edge on with a belt sander or a hand plane or a random orbit sander. But we've got a drum sander and I thought why don't we make a little jig, hold it at a consistent angle and we'll get a perfect taper on the front edge of this. Let me show you how you do that. Making the sled is fairly simple. I first determined the height I wanted to elevate the front edge. Then I attached a riser block to that height to lift and support the entire front edge, a couple of backer blocks to hold the back edges secure, and a screw through the handle to prevent it from tipping or lifting when the sander presses down on the front edge. With the sled completed and the peel securely mounted, I'm ready to start sanding. I make several passes and lower the sander a little bit with each pass. I stopped when the front edge was still roughly an eighth of an inch thick. Now that we've got the bevel sanded into the front edge of the peel, I need to shape the handle more completely so it's easier and more comfortable to hold. And then of course, I have to sand the whole thing super smooth and apply a finish. It needs to be a food safe finish. I recommend this butcher block conditioner which is just mineral oil and beeswax and it's perfect. When that's done, Go ahead and make yourself some pizzas. This was a fun and easy project to make and of course it makes great use of small pieces of lumber that you have in your shop that are interesting to look at. It's also a handy tool in any kitchen and it makes a great gift. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. Keep on making sawdust.